Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Parker Alston, alongside Riley Marl. This week we have recaps of baseball, swimming, track, softball, and soccer. Let's get started. On Monday, the baseball team squared off against Shawnee Mission East. Brennan Wolford has the recap. On Monday night, Lake Northwest took on the number two ranked Shawnee Mission East Lancers. On the hill for Northwest was senior Treston Rook as he battled up against junior Zeb Vermillion. The first play of the game is usually a tone setter for the rest of the game. Luke Anderson hit an easy grounder to senior Tanner Holland. Fielding was good, but the ball sailed right over Ben Owen's head. That was the first of seven errors on the day for O&W. The Lancers then took advantage of Northwest's mistake with a two-run inning with an RBI by Jake Randa. Connor Seacat and the Ravens responded quickly with a deep double into the gap that scored a run and gave Northwest some life. Shawnee Mission East then went on a tear. Following some more errors by O&W, Trevor Thompson hit a two-run triple over the head of Alan Brown. Coach Setter brought in reliever Jack Schrod for Treston Rook to finish off the inning and limit the damage. Yet, Schrod struggled with Runners on as he first gave up a two-run single, then Jake Ronda again hit a deep shot to right field right over Alan Brown's head for the three-run homer. Jack finished off the game fine but still gave up five runs with some strikeouts sprinkled in. O.W. threatened one last time late in the game with bases loaded but Mason Green struck out to end the inning. O.W. ended up getting run ruled in the sixth inning losing 11-1. They are now 3-6 and six on the season. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Brennan Wolford. Now, back to the desk. The team plays Tuesday at Seaback against Free State. The track team is off to a great start this season. They finished first at the Shawnee Mission South Relays and had a great showing at the Early Bird Invitational in Lawrence. Last Friday night, the Ravens competed in the Olathe Invitational. Brady Jensen has the highlights. The Ravens went to ODAC last Friday to compete in the Olathe Invitational and the Ravens put on a show winning several events. The distance boys placed second in the 4x800 meter relay and the jumpers swept the jumps with Brennan Watkins winning the triple and long and Mikel Evans winning the high jump. Brennan Watkins won three of the four events he participated in along with the jumps he won with the 100 meter dash. Nate Oswalt won the javelin throw with a throw of 155 feet and could have won with all three of his throws. Melody Baker set a new school record in the discus with a throw of 137 feet 5 inches. And Leah Wellman won the mile. Uh, other placers were Mikkel Evans, Conrad Kamensky, Delaney Shaver, Julian Lacey, and Trey Espy. The next meet will be at Shawnee Mission West. Come out to support your fellow Ravens for Game Day Northwest. This has been Brady Jensen. Now, back to the desk. On Wednesday, the girls' soccer team beat Shawnee Mission North 7-0, with goals coming from six different players. Great job, girls. Now up to Parker brings us the results of the swimming meet. Last Friday night, the Ravens' swimming and diving went to Prairie Trail for the Olathe Invitational, and both swimming and diving placed second overall. Then, Tuesday night, they met up at Blue Valley Northwest and finished first place overall. Their next meet will be April 19th versus Shawnee Mission Northwest and Shawnee Mission North at PRT. For Zach Clay, this has been Parker Ralston. Now back to the desk. Lastly, Bryce Lundgren and Zach Clay have the highlights from the softball game. On Tuesday, the Lady Raven softball team took on Shawnee Mission West in a doubleheader. After going undefeated in their first five games, the Ravens continued their dominance, winning both games 11-0. The Ravens had an overall great performance in both games with shutout pitching from Natalie Hamm and Aubrey Heron. The Ravens also had great hitting with home runs coming from Natalie Hamm and Hallie England. Get out to support the ladies in their next match they take on St. James and St. Thomas Aquinas. For Zach Clay, this has been Bryce Lundgren. Now back to the desk. That's all we have for this week. For Riley tomorrow, I'm Parker Ralston. Have a great weekend, Ravens.